Editors of Wikipedia, what's the best troll edit you've ever had to correct? I still have a screenshot somewhere where when the Burj Dubai was on fire last year, literally, it was still actually burning, and someone had already changed the building status section which usually says complete or under construction to burning. I didn't correct it initially because it was technically correct. Not an editor, but fell for a troll edit. When I first heard Laru's song Bulletproof, I looked them up on Wikipedia and read that the lead singer has only one leg and had gotten bullied by audiences calling her Peggy. I told several people this, and generally looked like a butt until I looked it up and saw that the edit had been removed. What a magnificent troll. I've had to correct a bunch of 3.5 inches floppy dongs. I may or may not have been the guy that changed the series name from Super Sentai to Super Hente for fun. Have a mate who edited himself into the Hollywood Star Walk of Fame page and stayed there for good few years. A couple of guides added him to their maps as well because of it. There was an edit for a while on Phelps page indicating that he had been part of some controversy and a cover up. For never disclosing that he was in fact, a dolphin. I once googled solar eclipse as there was one about to happen in a couple of hours. Google was just starting to do the thing where it prominently shows you the answer to your question. So it came back saying, a solar eclipse is when the sun explodes, destroying all humanity. Source. Wikipedia. By the time I clicked on the link it had been fixed. I was probably the only person who actually saw that as the answer on Google. I can imagine you frantically running outside screaming we're all gonna die. Wikipedia taught me that be named Helga come from Norway. I think somebody had just gotten out of a relationship. Arnold finally had enough of her abuse. There was an edit made that said Hope Solo, the former goalkeeper for the USWNT, was the daughter of Han Solo, and there was a small paragraph written about their life. Sister to Ben Solo I'm assuming. Have been on the project for more than a decade and an administrator for most of that time. There's so much vandalism, very little is novel or interesting. Some of the weirder problems. The guy who fell for a scam in the 1970s whereby he bought a small parcel of land in Scotland, in the belief that it would confer a noble title to him, an earl, no less. Unlike most people, who would realize it was a scam, he spent the next 40 years trying to convince people he really was an earl, usually by suing them when they didn't recognize his title in some publication. Of course, he was adamant that Wikipedia include him and his title. He eventually resorted to legal threats there too and was banned, as far as I am aware. He never actually filed a lawsuit. The lengthy discussion over the category people shot by sitting vice presidents which contained two people, Alexander Hamilton and Harry Whittington, who was shot by Cheney while they were hunting. The category was eventually deleted. The puzzling insistence, which comes up from time to time on a variety of pages, that pages regarding child pee should be illustrated with actual child pee, because Wikipedia is not censored. While these people are shut down pretty quickly, it is a bit alarming how they see their cause as some twisted libertarian belief in a right to abuse children. Endless accusations by conspiracy theorists that other editors, or I, am a shill for their opponents. This is especially funny when the conspiracy involves some regional or international conspiracy. Speaking of shills, so many marketing firms, so many terrible edits, there's now a pretty strong policy on editors paid to make edits. But it wasn't always the case. What always amazed me were the firms, who apparently charged clients for this service, which would edit on behalf of their clients in a manner not even remotely consistent with editing rules on the project. Sometimes they would simply copy and paste the client's website into the article, which is a capivio from the outset, sometimes even arguing they represented the client and thus had special status to edit the article. It amazed me that people would sell a service to edit Wikipedia for a client and not even vaguely investigate how editing Wikipedia worked. About, oh, seven years ago, I looked up religion on Wikipedia. The entire entry had been removed and replaced with just Jenny as a lesbian. One of my favorite things I've ever seen on the internet. My dad was a professional hockey player, and my friend changed his team from Buffalo Sabres to Buffalo Sausages, and it stayed there for a long ass time. Wasn't there the story of that guy who changed the date his hometown was founded as a joke and now he can't change it back, essentially changing his town's history? 
Not mine but I remember seeing that somebody changed all of the verbs on Ray Romano's wiki page go hypothetical words. That is, Ray Romano, hypothetically born the 21st of December, 1957. Not an editor, but I remember looking up Charlie Sheen and seeing someone had added half man, half coke once. I see no reason to disbelieve this. I once tried to edit in how the allies used day 10 warthogs during the battle of the bulge. I'm not an editor but I saw a case of vandalism which was awesome. A user of my favorite forum made a typo. It was in Russian, so it's hard to translate, but instead of lots of money he wrote lots of Georgia. Instead of correcting the typo he created a Wikipedia article about Georgia. Turns out it was a plant originating in Middle East with minor hallucinogen properties. He added a lot of information and even a photo of the plant. The article was taken down in a week, but I still remember what Georgia means. I looked up Vince Wilfork yesterday and someone put him at 590 pounds. He's big but really only about 325. I just left it. I once did a presentation on Nuremberg code and copy pasted the picture from Wikipedia. Someone had photoshopped the Bush administration as the Nazis you could barely tell. Fortunately I caught it in time. Chad Laclos dying by the hands of Michael Phelps. Not an editor, but an edit I know of. I went to a show of a comedian, and during the show he asked some people to tell where they are from. Two of them were from a village of 100 people, so they edited, live in the show, that those two were at the show. Someone edited our high school's Wikipedia page changing our assistant principal's middle name to the sucker and said our school had the lowest prices for marijuana in the state. Oh boy when me and my brother were kids, I was in school at this point, I learned about the Wikipedia where you can write whatever you want about anything, it was like brand new, early 2000s, so not many people were on it nor were there any safeguards, so I tell my brother, he likes the idea, we go down to the computer our mom lets us play games and we got on Wikipedia and started editing, I mean we were 7 and 4ish and were just writing poop, but, p, stupid act. Mum thought we were getting along for once, so a day or so later my mum goes to use the computer and happens to want to look something up on you guessed it, Wikipedia. Huge message came up saying she was banned for 60 days or so for abusing the edit button. She thinks it's a mistake and messages them. Sure enough it came back to tell her that like no you wrote poo poo on this page. She was sorta mad but it was so funny. I actually work with computers and technology now so I got an early start on internet trolling. And by proxy, we still laugh about it. Not an editor but in high school German class everyone was assigned to do brief biography on a famous German. We were given a class period in the computer lab. The class clown noticed everyone was using Wikipedia and he would change small but funny things in their biography. Then the next day we heard some of the fun facts in class. Some superb trolling there. I don't edit, but I saw an edit of the marine biologist page that added Jotaro Kujo as a notable marine biologist. One day I was browsing random pages when I got to China's. Apparently, their national food is the hot dog. My sister, the English major, posted a pretty good definition for thesaurus that didn't last long on wiki. Been probably about 5 years so going to have to give the abbreviated version. The thesaurus was a dinosaur during the Jurassic Age. It was far more intelligent than the other dinosaurs. As such it was bullied by more popular dinosaurs such as the Tyrannosaurus Rex almost constantly for being wordy and bookish. Of additional note, the Thesaurus was perhaps the only dinosaur that willingly chose extinction. I always thought it was a pretty decent post. I used to blank Wikipedia pages and replace the entire thing with Wishbone fanfiction. Mainly the one where Wanda kills Wishbone with a shovel. For some reason I mostly targeted the General Motors page and the hit television show Murphy Brown. Not from Wikipedia nor am I an editor but someone changed the step by step analysis on cremation to how to cook a sausage. I once added to some aviation page that stewardesses is the longest word that is typed with the left hand only, and when it was deleted I got some notification like, very funny, but it doesn't apply. I just had to picture that guy typing stewardesses a few times. Do it. That's actually a very useful fact, because it means that you're able to search for educational videos with one hand. 
The emu war page on Wikipedia used to have a casualties section listed. I believe the people at our emu war flashbacks may have had a hand in semi-locking that page. My buddy Ben added that Chicago was known as the Big Onion for over a year, a long time ago. Not an editor but I remember when Donald Trump was elected. Someone changed Donald Glover's childish Gambino occupations and put the only good Donald left. The Wikipedia vandalism page once had a screenshot of the following example of wiki vandalism on an article about diamonds. Diamonds were created by a wizard 5000 years ago. So simple, so sweet. It was eventually removed, probably cause people kept reading that example and then editing the diamond page. According to my brother, I once replaced the picture at the top of the Wikipedia page for human with a picture of the cast of porn stars. Technically I wasn't wrong. Not an editor, but crap's hilarious anyways. A few years back a fast food franchise opened a new restaurant downtown in my city. They did a cool thing for decoration. They put famous people's portraits and inspiring quotes from them. Among them was Steve Jobs, who had an oddly unfamiliar quote attached to him. If you want to you can fly, you only need to trust yourself a lot. Turns out, a couple years later a blog post went viral in my country where someone fessed up. They had edited Jobs wiki quote page and added the line, which is part of the chorus for Latin America's dub of Digimon's theme song, and gave a fake source of a Spanish newspaper for it. Another newspaper saw it for Jobs' obituary and published it, and said guy quietly changed the reference in the page to the recently published paper. Even after that, the quote is still standing in the restaurant's wall. I chuckle every time I go near. A professor of mine would log into Wikipedia once a week and add that the college town was the schnauzer capital of the world. I thought it was hilarious. I saw once that someone had edited Brad Markand of the Boston Bruins Wikipedia page to say that he drinks his own pee. As a Habs fan, I laughed for days about it. I wish I'd screen capped it. I'm nerd editor, but I remember something like 7-10 years ago there was a scandal about the wiki page of our country. I don't remember the full details, but basically, someone wrote out clearly that our country is a Nazi state, put swastikas in our flag and rewrote some of its history to make it all look pro-Nazi. It was up there for a few days, as far as I remember. I will try to look for a source somewhere. It's Lithuania. BTW. Somebody once changed all the s in the word lisp to lisp. Someone replaced the entire text of the Calvin and Hobbes article with one from a site called Encyclopedia. The content described a television show about the wacky philosophical adventures of John Calvin and Thomas Hobbes. It was really bizarre and specific vandalism, and I went to revert the page, but someone got to it before I did. This was around 2005 or so. Not an editor, but I the best edit I've ever seen was on the James Cameron's, director of Titanic and Avatar, wiki. It was so perfectly subtle, it was barely even a troll. It was just left off center enough to be noticeable. I used to have a screenshot of it on my phone, if this blows up I'm sure I have it saved on my computer. The edit was something like, James Cameron directed Avatar in 2010, in 2012. He was caught purchasing a quality wine from Trader Joe's or something like that. It was seamless and I love it to this day. Friend of mine would add ludicrous nicknames to wrestlers. They'd get cited, reported, translated, etc. Did this for years. You have been visited by the IT lizard. Upvote or experience bad internet for a month. Thanks for watching. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.